incredibly important that the Viscardi Center recognize excellence in disability efforts all around the world. The advocacy that we, that we need every day is led by people that we honor tonight. And this leadership comes in very different forms from every part of the world. And I think it's great that at least half of our honorees were from outside of the United States. We have great advocates in the United States, but it's also great to recognize that the world is full of very talented people with disabilities who are changing the world for, for the good. I think it's about our humanity. I would dare say that all of us here do not define our lives by our disabilities or our challenges. And so this is just the recognition of, of humans that want to make a difference for everybody. Uh, my, my sense is that uh, when you make a difference in the disabilities world, you're really making a difference for everybody. It's, it's really important because persons with disabilities are most neglected part of the society. They belong from, like in our countries, like in our areas, people from belong from grassroots levels. So it's a good initiative to recognize the a person with disability and leader with disability who are working in their native area. It's simply amazing. I mean, it's a great honor for me to be standing next to the, you know, eight extraordinary people who have done so much work over there and they are so inspiring. I feel greatly humbled also and this is a great opportunity to meet those people and standing next to them. I feel deeply honored. In 1998, Israel legislated the persons, the equal rights for persons with disabilities law. A year later, Yuval Wagner established, founded Access Israel. You know, um, as a visual impaired student, I never got a single accessible books during my study. And today, this is the 21st century, we cannot stop. Our children should have to have accessible reading materials. It is very important. Without getting good accessible books, a student cannot achieve education. Our dream that all children will get accessible books in their in alternative format and we are working hard to achieve that dream. There are a lot of us out there and a lot of us have faced significant struggles but together I think we can norm normalize the discussion about mental health in this country. Veterans have always led from the front whether it was from racial integration to gender integration and so now if we can push the conversation more about post-traumatic stress and PTSD and help, we want to do that. I look around and I see so many people doing work that I recognize as really difficult and really awesome and really valuable. And for me to be counted among those people is something that I honestly didn't expect. We need, as I will reflect on this evening, acknowledge that every day is a day of giving by those present this evening, not just in personal wealth, but in their time and efforts, and most importantly, those disabled who give up their, their stamina, their enthusiasm, their demonstration as role models to others, young and old, that they too can conquer these disabilities and have as best a life as possible. That's what it's all about.